Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how you can use the clone command in Minecraft. First off, we're going to be going through the clone command, just simply the command itself. And after that, we're going to be going through the things like the mask, filtered, and replace mode. Anyways, let's get right in. Alrighty, so the clone command allows you to clone blocks, aka take them from one place to another. Um, so let's say you build something beautiful. In my case, this is this two of two, two by two block of crimson planks, and you want to clone it to somewhere else in your world. Well, um, it's actually really, really simple. Firstly, you're going to need some coordinates because we're going to be doing all of this making use of coordinates. Firstly, that means turning on show coordinates in game. Don't worry, you don't need cheats or anything like this. Um, it's literally just an option you can toggle. Then, um, that will allow you to, in the top left, see your coordinates. You can see them on my screen as well. Um, anyways, we're just going to be looking at this cube and cloning it. As I said, you need coordinates. You need the bottom corner and the top corner. Um, the the coordinates of those blocks so you need the coordinates of the bottom corner and the top corner and you need to make sure that these are the corners on opposite sides of your structure if your structure is one block wide like this it's only one block wide then you just take the bottom and top corner if your object is 3d like this then you need to take the bottom corner and then the top corner on the other side of that um, that is very important. Let's say you have a shape like this, then you can just take this block and this block, which is the bottom corner and the top corner, and the fact that these two blocks here aren't filled in, that doesn't matter at all. Yeah, so, um, anyways, I've got the coordinates of the corners of this block, so what you can then next do is the side where you want to clone it. Um, and there's two ways of um, doing that. Anyways, um, I'll just demonstrate right now. I'll go over to zero, zero. That's way it's, that way it's really easy to know my coordinates for me and for the sake of this tutorial. Anyways, what you can then do is type slash and then clone just in here there we go and then you want to type in the starting coordinates of um whatever you want to clone so this is going to be either you can choose with which one to start so this is going to be the bottom corner or the top corner make sure once again that those are the opposite corners um anyways for me that was 10 minus 60 comma 10 there we go. Beautiful. Um, that was the coordinate of the bottom left corner. You can also do the bottom right corner or the top left or top right. Anyways, then for the end coordinates, you want to type in the opposite of what you just typed in here. So this was the bottom left for me. So now I need to type in the top right. If you did bottom right, then you need to do top left. Yeah, you see where I'm going? Um, that's exactly what you want to do. And now, once again, what you want to do to get those coordinates is just stand in that place. And then you can just read the coordinates from the top over here. Then what, what I recommend is to just write them down on a spare piece of paper or a notepad or uh, something like that. And then you can just... Um, if you just write those down somewhere, then you'll be able to remember them. Or... If you have really good memory, then you can just remember them in your head. Anyways, time to type the top right, or for you guys, maybe different coordinates. Anyways, that is, for me, going to be 11 minus 58, and then 11. There we go. Um, very, very nice. These are the coordinates of the top right corner. <clears throat> right? So now, we've basically told it. To select this whole structure we have here, and depending on the size and the, the, the size of your thing you want to clone, this is going to be a lot bigger or a lot smaller. I believe there is a 35,000 block limit though, 
So you can't just go ahead and copy an entire gigantic castle of um, 1 million blocks because it's not going to allow you to do that. Um, they'll have to clone it in uh, smaller pieces. Anyways, now you need to type the ending coordinates. So this is good. Nope, sorry, the destination coordinates. And these are going to be the des these are going to be the coordinates of wherever you want to put it. And now there's two different ways of doing this. Number one is just typing tab, tab, and tab three times. What this will do is this will put in tildes. Um, you'll be able to type tab if you're on um, a PC, laptop, or with a keyboard. Um, if you're not on your own mobile, then you should just be able to put in these tildes manually. Anyways, what these tildes mean is your current location you're standing at right now. Yeah? Um, so what you can do to make it easy for yourself is fly or walk to whatever location you want to paste it at. And then um, make sure that, and then they could just type tab. You won't need to remember those coordinates, and you're all good. Um, alternatively, you don't have to go to the place you want to clone it, but then you can just type in the coordinates. So zero minus sixty zero. Yeah, um, and that is just going to be the pace and coordinates. Anyways, I'm going to do it like this because this is a lot easier for myself. There we go. And then you can just hit enter, and as you can see, these blocks have now been cloned. Um, very, very nice, am I right? Um, anyways, you might have noticed that I was standing, well, in here, and I got pushed out. Yeah, but that's kind of beside the point. Um, <clears throat> you're always going to be standing in the corner of where this gets cloned. And, well, how do you know? that you're standing in the correct corner. Well, um, if I, I, you can do that by simply looking at your coordinates. So let's just jump over here. Um, and let's say you wanna paste something um, in this area right over here. In what corner do you need to get? Well, um, there's a really simple way of finding that out. You can just go to any, you, could, you, you need to walk around. Yeah, you need to watch your coordinates. Um, and notice how they keep changing when you walk, right? In some directions, they get bigger, as you can see, and if you walk in the other direction, they get smaller. Same with the other one. The, um, the middle one, the Y coordinate, that one doesn't really matter for now. So it's the left coordinate and the right coordinate that you need to look at. As you can see, one direction they're getting bigger, and the other direction they're getting smaller. Same here, but then for the other coordinate, it's getting smaller now, and now it's getting bigger. Look at that. So you need to note um, in what direction both of these are getting bigger. So if I walk in this direction, the, um, the right one gets bigger, and if I walk in this direction, the left one gets bigger, right? So that means that if I walk in this direction, both of them are gonna get bigger, yeah? And once you've and once you've found the direction in both in which both of those coordinates get bigger, that is in what direction you are going to clone. Um, and what I mean by that is if you clone something, you will be um, everything will appear in that direction for you yeah so if i were to clone something right now then the then it would all appear in this direction if i were to stand here and clone something um and clone these four blocks it wouldn't appear like this but it would appear like this because in this direction both of the coordinates get bigger right um so that's how to know that you're cloning it in the correct location. Alright, so now for the other things. Okay, so let's say you're typing in the slash clone command. Um, clone. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm just going to type in some random coordinates over here. Um, I just, just so we can get there. Yeah, um, tab, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyways. This doesn't really matter. Um, now we're looking at filtered, masked, and replace. 
So starting from the bottom, replace is sort of the default. Um, this is going to make sure that um, everything gets replaced. So if you copy an area with air inside of it, that air is going to um, replace blocks in the existing area if there are blocks um, and it's just going to replace everything. So literally whatever is in the area you're cloning is going to be in the area you're pasting, including air blocks. What masked does, um, what this is going to do is uh, this is going to um, not destroy existing blocks. Yeah, so uh, let's say you have a castle and you want to paste in a bunch of windows or something. I don't know. Um, well, then you can paste those in and it doesn't matter because none of the blocks are going to get destroyed and you're only going to paste over um, air blocks. So if if there's air, just like nothing, like right over here, then there will be cloned. But if there's already blocks in the existing area, those blocks will not get replaced. Yeah. Filtered, that's kind of the name, I guess, already. But you can filter. You can choose to um, only replace or only clone certain types of blocks. So let's say I made a structure out of um, obsidian and out of crying obsidian, right? And for some reason, I only want to copy the obsidian part. Well, then I can filter it in, um, I, can, I, can, I can filter it and say I only want to copy obsidian. Or let's say I built something really, really cool. Um, I used red wool as um, just like a placeholder kind of block and then I used smooth sandstone for the actual build. Then I can choose to replace all, um, to, to only clone something over the red wool and not over the smooth sandstone. You get the idea. That's basically how that works. Very customizable and you should be able to do it with every single block and item in the game. Anyways, um, that's it for the clone command, I guess. Um, there isn't much more to it than that, I think. If you do have any questions, however, then feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.